sewing machine today. First thing will be how to unthread the machine, how to rethread the machine, and how to do a seven check so that you know all of the parts of the machine are ready to go. In order to unthread the machine, you need to hold on to the spool of thread that's sitting on the spool pin and just take another finger and lift up on the thread and pull the thread out. You hold your finger here so it doesn't spin. And then you want to wind it back on the spool, whatever direction it's going, into the center of the spool. Never let, let it spin because sometimes it will wind on the spool pin and it will get tangled. Next thing you do is take the bobbin out of the case by pushing the little black button and using your index finger to remove the bobbin carefully. Sometimes the bobbin case is a little loose, so you may want to hold your finger on it so that it doesn't come out as well. In order to rethread the machine, it's a good idea to lay your bobbin on the counter and make sure the thread is unwinding off the left side so that you can, you can hold it like this, just pull on it. That's the correct side. If it's flipped the other way, that's the incorrect side. And you want at least six inches of thread hanging off the bobbin, which is approximately the length of your hand. Drop the bobbin in the case, hold on to it with your index finger, and you'll need to look closely here. There is a little slot at the bottom of the bobbin case that you want to slide the thread in. That's called a thread guide. Pull it off to the left and you'll hear or feel a little snap. Let the thread hang out of the machine do not put the plastic cover on yet. The next step, which is part two of threading the machine, is threading the top of the machine. Uh, there's a little guide for you. There's a little picture on top of the machine where it shows you where to start. It's one, two, three, four. Hold the thread between two fingers. And just another suggestion, cut the end of the thread off at an angle so that you have a sharp point. You don't have a fuzz on the end of the thread. Now hold it between two fingers and pull it or wrap it behind the first thread guide which is the flat thread guide on top of the machine. It's also helpful to put a little tension on the thread by holding it with your other hand. Number two goes around the bend. Number three goes around the take-up lever and it snaps in place. It must snap in place so it goes through the thread guide of the take-up lever. Then drag your thread down to number four, which is actually a hook above the needle. Hold between two fingers and hook it around that little hook and pull again about six inches of thread out. You want to hold the thread close to the end, and it would be helpful to also wet it with saliva. Put it in your mouth, and you want to thread it from front to back through the little opening at the bottom of the needle, which is called the eye. Push it through, and pull it through with your other finger. Again, allowing at least six inches of thread hanging out of the needle. You're not done yet. The third step is almost like magic. You want to bring the bobbin thread up through the needle hole of the stitch plate. In order to do that, hold the thread, hold the thread coming out of the needle with your left hand. Turn your hand wheel towards you, but look at the take-up lever. It should go down and all the way back up. Then lift this thread up. We haven't let go yet and either drag a pencil or a closed pair of scissors underneath the presser foot to bring the bobbin up. You'll know that it's correct if you see a diagonal thread across the bobbin. You put your thread through the presser foot. Both threads should be under the presser foot, pushed back out of the way, and then you can put the cover on. The final thing I want to show you is how to do a seven check on the machine to make sure it's ready for you to sew and the next person to sew. Looking at the top of the machine, the spindle of the bobbin winder should be open. Thread tension dial should be set at four. There should be thread through the take-up lever and the take-up lever should be all the way to the top and you move it with your hand wheel if you need to move it a little bit. 
The pattern selector should be on 0 and 14. The stitch length dial underneath the hand wheel should be set at 2 and a half. And you need to look into the bobbin case and make sure there is a diagonal thread across the bobbin.